Hello everyone! Welcome back. It's me, Phantoms Y, with some more Steins Gate. As you may recall, last time we entered Lukako's routes, uh, we allowed my Yuri to die, and now it's time to proceed with uh, probably some pretty dark stuff here, if I had to imagine, but here we go. I'm leaning against the wall, hugging both knees. I don't remember how long I've been here. How much time has passed since Mayuri's death? I didn't go to the vigil or to the funeral. How could I, when I'm the one who killed her? I don't want to see anything or anyone. Even breathing is hard now. And yet, I have no choice but to face this emptiness, this heart-rending guilt, and accept what I've done. Hey, Reed Steiner. That is my duty now. Someone pulls the curtain open. Karisu. Light shines in the, from the lounge. A girl is standing there, silhouetted by the light. As soon as I realize who it is, I turn away and prepare to block out the noise. Hmm. あの日死ぬこと。どうしてタイムリープしないの?あんたならマユリを助けるために<笑> それとももしかしてあんたはすでにIBN5100を取り戻して別の世界線へと移動した後とかここに残されているのは岡部凛太郎の残死あまりそして世界はパラレルワールドとしてここではマユリが助からなかった未来が継続するIBN5100は取り
誰からも分かってもらえないと覚悟したはずだったらそれを甘んじて受けなさいそうすればあんたは自分がしたことの意味について忘れることはないから So in other words she's telling me to suffer on my own What a cruel woman ただあんたはあんたが取った選択によって助けたもう一人の子について責任マユリは死んだわ残念だけど残念っていう言葉だけじゃ足りないぐらい悲しいけどとにかくマユリはもういない世界の収束世界の意思には逆らえなかったでもあの子は今も生きてるあんたのおかげで女の子としてそしてあんたと同じように孤立して苦しんでると思うあの子の苦しみを理解してあげられるのは共犯者である岡部だけでしょ共犯者 I knew you would pull no punches, Makise Karisu. Lukako's image floats through my mind. She used to be a guy, but now she's a girl, and she'll lose a girl from now on. I am the one who chose that future for Lukako. When I imagine her frail smile, I feel like spring has come to thaw the frozen soil of my heart. I can't bear to lose Lukako, too. In that case, I know what I must do. Thank you, Chris. I was able to talk to you. It was good. As I enter the courtyard, I can almost feel the heat slowly drain away. Beside the main building stands a large tree. Its branches, coated with vibrant leaves, sway in the gentle breeze. The shrine is cooler than the streets of Akihabara proper. Maybe it's because of Kanda River is so close. As usual, the shrine is empty. I find myself standing before the offering box, gazing into the inner sanctum. I wonder if Luca goes home. Her family should be here too. How should I call for her? Just then, the wind suddenly lets up, and the sound of rustling le trees stops for a bit. In the silence, I hear someone sobbing. It sounds like it's coming from behind the main building. I slowly head towards the sound. Lukuko is there, sitting on the grasp, hugging her knees as she cries. Samedare is in her hands. Lukuko. Lukuko looks at me with wet eyes, but immediately afterwards, she buries her face into her knees. Then her shoulders start shaking once more. I lost the words I was about to say. All I can do is silent, sit silently next to Lukako. Now that she remembers being a guy, Lukako is beginning to have gender identity issues. I have no idea how that feels. Just as Karisu said, Lukako is disconnected from causality too. So 
そんなことはない。I try to cheer her up with those meaningless words, but Lukako shakes her head in denial. Still crying, Lukako stands and pleads with me. Is she talking about the time leap machine? I make that firm declaration with hung head and clenched fists. Hey, Bellatima. マユリの死を受け入れてそれでも生きていくしかないんだよ諦めちゃダメですよどうして諦められるんですかマユリちゃんが亡くなって悲しくないんですかとにかく方法はないんだ嫌です僕はマユリちゃんに死んでほしくない
まゆりちゃんの死の上に成り立ってるなんてことそのことが重すぎて押しつぶされちゃいそうなんですどうしてあの時18年前のお母さんのポケベルにメールを送ってくれなかったんですかどうしてまゆりちゃんじゃなくて僕なんかをお前は何も負い目を感じることはないすべては俺の選択だまゆりを殺したのは俺なんだだから罪は俺がすべてかぶる I am the one with the power of God I am the one who chose my Eerie's fate Therefore I am the one who must bear the responsibility お前にも幸せになってほしいって幸せになんてなれるはずないじゃないですかまゆりちゃんが死んだのは僕のせいでもあるのにお前のせいじゃない何度も言わせないでくれ今は悲しいかもしれないがお前にはまゆりの分まで前を見て生きていってほしいんだそんなのそんなの嫌ですルカコ clings to my chest She stares into my eyes without wiping away her tears.忘れます僕の記憶の中に男だった時の思い出が蘇ってきている時点でもう忘れかけているんですよまゆりちゃんの命と引き換えに僕が女として生きているんだっていうことも知っちゃっているわけですし僕たち共犯者なんですよ The same words as Carisu Carisu said the same thing. We're accomplices, Lukako and I. We're dic uh, disconnected from causality. Nobody else can understand us. That's why. <sighs> I embrace Lukako strongly. We both bear the same burden. We'll accept Mayuri's death, yet still live on, shoulder to shoulder. Afterwards, we pass the time, sitting in silence until the sky turns the color of dusk. Lukako rests her head on my shoulder. I embrace her and feel her breathing next to me. We gaze silently at the sky, and in our hearts, we pray for Mayuri's happiness in the afterlife. I'm sorry, Mayuri. I'm sorry. Lukako raises her head and breaks the silence. I can see the firm resolve in her expression. Oh, that. 
these last few weeks, Mayuri was constantly asking Lukako to wear the costume she made for her. But Lukako was too embarrassed to try. I remember Mayuri on the day she died. ルカちゃんって普段おとなしいでしょ。あんまり自分の意見も言おうとしないし、コスプレするとね、普段の自分とは別の自分になれるんだよ。だからね、最初は恥ずかしいかもしれないけど、ルカちゃんも一度やればき
落ち着いて状況を理解するんだ大丈夫俺がついている I gently caress Lukugo's cheek She responds with a small sigh of relief I nod and hide the shaking of my fingertips as I set the microwave timer. <laughs> I smile to, Lu to Lukako. Immediately afterwards, the discharge fills the room. I open my eyes wide in wonder as Lukako's body begins to shine. The building shakes violently. The smell of ozone fills the air. The light is blinding. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Lukuko's cry is suddenly cut short. A shock ripples through my body, like it always does right after the time leaping. This time, I wasn't the one who leaped. But nevertheless, I teleported away from the lab to Yanabayashi Shrine. Did the world line change? No. Reading Steiner didn't activate, so I don't think it did. Then why? Was it because of Lukugo's changes to the past? I look to the side, and there I see Lukako. She gets up and smiles once she notices my gaze. Shashin? What's this about pictures? Her cosplaying? Lugako once again bursts into tears. Then, she slowly nods. She takes out a few pictures and hands them to me. I look at the first picture handed to me. I gasp in surprise when I see what's on it. I realize that I'm crying. In the picture, Mayuri is smiling, and we're smiling with her. <laughs>